Today we celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. We are not celebrating the construction of a church, but what it represents, and we are especially celebrating the divine life that we find inside. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria! Holy Mother Church invites us to celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. This basilica was the first church that was built after the liberation of the Christians in the year 314. This church is the seat, is the cathedral of the Bishop of Rome, the Pope. Just across the street from this beautiful basilica, we find a big bronze statue of St. Francis of Assisi. And St. Francis of Assisi is represented in this statue, standing up with his arms outstretched, looking towards the basilica as though he's holding the big church in his arms. This, was, this reminds us of that mystical grace that St. Francis received when um, our Lord revealed himself to him and told St. Francis, Francis, rebuild my church. Now, to build a church, we all know that it takes bricks, mortar, takes steel and glass. But in the end, what really supports the church are all those people that are in love with Christ. So, on this feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, we are invited to renew our love for Christ, to renew our love for the Church, to grow in our duty to hold up the Church, just like St. Francis, through our prayers, our devotions, and our good works. Today's Gospel is presented to us by St. John. Chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. And in this Gospel, St. John reminds us of a dramatic episode of the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, where our Lord makes a whip and cleanses the Jerusalem temple of all those people who are selling animals and of all those money changers. And our Lord uses some very strong words in order to cleanse his temple. And this is what he says. Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. So we can take two lessons from this dramatic episode. The first lesson is with regards to the church. When a church is built for the honor and for the worship of God, it should be used exclusively as a place of prayer and worship. And therefore, we should take very great care to respect it and to never allow any kind of sin to be committed in this sacred temple, in this sacred place. So I think of sins of ambition, for example, sins of worldliness, of vanity, of pride. All these sins should never be committed in our sacred churches. And the second lesson is with regards to ourselves. Our bodies, we should always remind ourselves, are temples of the Holy Spirit and therefore should also always remain pure. We should always strive for holiness. We should always keep our bodies as sacred places, as sacred dwelling places for God to feel at ease and to feel at peace. So, we should all marvel at our beautiful churches and respect our churches and take care of our churches as God's dwelling places. And we should also always maintain the holiness of our bodies by being modest, by being pure, so that when the Lord comes at a time we less expect it, He will not drive us out away from Him with the whip. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria.
If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.